Thursdays is sponsored by Donna Kay's Cafe. All right, from one area of the studio to this part of the studio. It's very fast, I love it. <laughs> All right, so it is Weather Wednesday, a time when Kevin and I get to talk about the weather a little more in depth together. And I had someone earlier this week asking me, with all of the warm weather, are we gonna see rapid snow melt? Of course, that was such a huge concern last year when we had that really above average snowpack. Yeah, and this year's snowpack, not as high as last year, and we're not seeing an extreme uh, temperature incline mm -hmm. as we saw last year. And so we were worried about our rivers, we were looking at uh, different reservoirs, Reservoirs may be overflowing, but that's not the case uh, this year so far. It is not indeed, and we can show you that by the numbers here. Yeah, let's show you those uh, numbers here this afternoon. Go to the weather computer, and we are going to talk about where our snowpack is and where it was last year at the same time. All right, let's go back here. I want to show you Lake Tahoe. So pretty. It, maybe my computer will cooperate. <laughs> okay, South Lake Tahoe. You can still see snow in the distance there. It's 58 degrees. So yes, we're starting to see temperatures uh, warming. So we're getting a slow melt off out of the uh, Sierra. But I want to see, show you where the snowpack is right now. The northern Sierra is 123% of normal. The central at 106, along with the southern Sierra. Statewide, our snowpack right now, 111% of normal. So we still have plenty of snow in the Sierra, and we are going to warm up. And these are our current reservoir levels as of today. Yeah, this is important to note because last year we had 200% of normal in some places for our snowpack and full reservoirs. And so that's why the water officials kept saying there's nowhere for all of this water to go. And because of the efforts that were made and because of the release of water, it ended up not being as scary last year as we expected it to be. But there was still some flooding. We saw that here locally in Kernville, of course. Now look at how we are today. About 100% of normal, a pretty average year. 96% capacity at Lake Shasta as of today. 91% in Oroville, 80 in Folsom. But of course, we care about local reservoirs. Yeah, Lake Isabella, everybody's eyes is always on the lake. So this is where we sit right now. So last year, we had 299,000 acre feet of water in Lake Isabella. Right now, we sit at 271,000, just shy of 272,000 acre feet. So actually, the lake is down 9% from last year. Mm -hmm. And when we look at capacity, that's important. The capacity of Lake Isabella is 568,000 acre feet of water. So we're not even close to that. In yeah. fact, we're only 52% of capacity right now for Lake Isabella. So even with the snowpack melt off, it doesn't look like we are gonna see a problem with Lake Isabella at all. Yeah, we have plenty of room for all yes. of that snow melt to come down through the upper Kern into Isabella. Then of course, we know we have our water officials gauging everything. We have all of those efforts that we needed to rebuild our dam, or not rebuild, but to fix yes. the dam. All that's done. So we're in a really good place as of right now. And I just wanted to show you some beautiful snow video that we had from over the season, because after last year, having 200% of average for the snowpack, now we're at 100% of average. It's been two really good years in a row. And and it got scary last year because before this water hits Lake Isabella, it comes in out of Kernville. Mm -hmm. And we saw all of that rush of water overflowing the banks in Kernville. Again, it doesn't look like we're going to be under that same condition as we saw last year. Our snowback, snowpack isn't as great. And right now, temperatures are warming slightly, not at once. Where you get that problem is, is where you go from, let's say, 50s. Mm -hmm. And then we're at 90, 100 degrees in some locations, and we see rapid melt-off. I don't see that and also we're looking at long term in the month of April towards the end of the month we're looking at maybe more moisture so there's a okay. 40 to 50 percent chance of seeing above normal precipitation here in the next few weeks that will also help with a slow melt off exactly as long as it's snow if we stack more snow on top of snow we're good yes. if we get a soaking pineapple express that's on top story. of snow that's a little concerning <laughs> yeah. we're not saying that's gonna happen no. but these are the things that Kevin and I watch finally a last note for you today the National Weather Service also noting that here in the valley we need to have three or more days in a row of 90s yes. to really cause that rapid snow melt. Even though it's warm this week, we're not seeing that. Yep.